Good morning. And, uh, and who are you? My name is Harry Mancha. Yeah. Born and raised in Carroll County, <laughs> Westminster. I've been carving for about 30 years. Been teaching about five or six years. Spent most of my life being a carpenter, plus five years in the military in the Navy. So what made you get into carving? Uh, I've always liked the uh, wood carving. It always looked interesting. So uh, I found a lady in Westminster, uh, Bernice Culver, who was a very, very good carver and a good teacher. And uh, she was giving classes in her garage. Uh, talked to her and she invited me to, to have class with her and that's how it got started. We were doing uh, mostly uh, waterfowl at that time. Now tell me about your tools. Do you have any specialized? Yeah, I, I make tools. Uh, yeah. I make carving knives, which is uh, this one here is one of mine. Uh, this one's one of mine and mine. These, all these I made. And I have uh, quite a selection of gouges and chisels here. Well, how, how come you got so many? I mean, well, you can only use one at a time. You can only use one at a time, but each one does something different. Uh, they make different shapes. You need small ones for small work, large ones for large work. So over the years, I've just uh, kind of gathered up the probably 30, 40. <laughs> Now, do you um, use power tools too? I do power tools. Uh, I have a, uh, a Sphinx, which is a quarter horsepower uh, rotary tool, and then I have a small rotary tool also for small jobs. But I don't care to use them as much as I, I do the hand tools. It's more hands-on that way. I see. And now uh, you're doing a lot of cutting up, right? I love to cut up. Yeah. I enjoy carving with hand tools. Uh, I have power tools that I carve with also. And I what do. is that you're making there? Uh, I'm just doing a little Santa Claus. I have my flasks uh, uh, going. One like this. And uh, hopefully uh, this one will turn out like that one. Now let me see. Very cute. My name is Jim Shear. And what are you doing, Joe? Oh, uh, I'm trying to learn to carve. Well, let me see what you've done. So far, this. And that is? Uh, just a snowman. Snow lady, I think. How can you tell what gender it is? <laughs> well, because I think when I paint her, I'm going to put her a prettier hat than she has. I would hope so. <laughs> So, how often do you come here? Once a week. And how long have you been doing this? Um, yeah, we're gonna make I believe it's been about six weeks. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Do you like it? I like it. Yeah. I don't. It takes patience. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure my patients are there. So, don't, you're not going to give up your day job? No, I guarantee you in that one. <laughs> So what is this going to be when it's finished? A what? Oh, great. <clears throat> and here's another snowman under construction. Snow lady. It's an interesting looking glove you're wearing. Is it, uh, is it cut proof? Supposed to be. Let's, let's, hope, let's hope so. I hate to see blood in my movies. <laughs> Ready to finish them up. We're going to paint them. Um, grid it. Hi. What are you making? I am making condos. A condo? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about it. This is um, cotton wood bark. Yeah. And the woman in this class gave me a piece. And I don't know what I'm doing, but step by step, we're getting there. You can hang on the wall. I'm making stairs here. Hi, Charlotte. Hello. What are you doing? 
cottonwood bark carving. So what's it going to be when it's get, when you're finished? Just a whimsical house. Consider them like little gnome houses. Could you show me? Just hold it up. I can show you this one, and then I can show you one that's not finished but more completed than this one is. Oh yeah. And then, this is going to be a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, That's neat. That's neat, too. So how long have you been doing this? A mm, couple years. Started out doing spoons. That looks like a uh, yeah, nice work. Thank so, you. do you sell them? No. No. No, no, no. I have three kids and five grandchildren, and it's just, I just use it, it's just a hobby, and I give them as gifts to the family. Okay. The Christmas, the birdhouses started out last year for a tree for Carol Hospice. So, oh, that's nice. This year. We'll be doing ornaments, but not, I don't think cottonwood bark. I think we're going to be doing more uh, plywood cutouts because our tree this year is going to be an old fashioned Christmas theme. So there may, may be some cottonwood bark snowmen on it. That's very nice. I'm sure they'll enjoy them. Thank you. Hi. That's there. How are you? What are you doing there? What, what is that? I don't, I'm trying to pour. A wood spirit. Okay. It's a sassafras. Sassafras. Uh -huh. They so, twisted uh, up one of the vines, twisted it up. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. And who are you? I'm Rich Phillips. So, how long have you been doing this, Rich? Uh, this is my second piece of cotton wood. I mean, how long have you been wood carving? Uh, since I was about eight. That's uh, got to be at least 20 years, man. Yeah. <laughs> about 50 <laughs> some years. Ever since they let me pick up a knife. Sharp object, yeah. Okay. So you... Let me see what you're doing. So your wife doesn't mind you playing with sharp things, then? No, as long as I clean up my own mess. Yeah. That's one of the prerequisites, no doubt. I'm afraid so. <laughs> so do you have any tools that you use more than others? or Any favorites? Uh, this is one of my favorites. Because That's I made it. That's a little one. Yes, it's a detail knife. <laughs> that one works really well for getting big pieces cut. Yeah. Because I've used a pocket knife more than anything else. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Jerry. How are you? What's your name? My name is uh, Pete Turner. Okay, Pete. And what are you working on? Well, this is a little uh, scene that I'm working on, kind of a fall scene. Um, a tree with the leaves blowing off of it, and uh, some birds, and then there, a border of leaves with birds cut into the corners. It's called chip carving. I'm carving a scene, it's, it's a landscape scene. Uh, this is a tree like in the fall with the leaves blowing off of it in the wind. You can see the tree and the leaves here. Yeah, the birds are like just taken off out of the, uh, the bush or the ground here. Then around the, the scene, I'm, I'm making a border now of uh, leaves, and then on each corner there'll be a bird. How long have you been working on this particular piece, Pete? Oh, off and on for probably uh, two, three months or so. It's, I don't sit down and try and do it all at once. It's just one of those pieces that I pick up and work on for a while and put it down. Show me that tool bag you got, the, the tool roll. Well, this is a, a set of gouges from a company called FlexCut. And um, so you get a handle, and then you get various 
gouges, in this case there's four, it's like a beginner set if you will, and they just snap in and pull apart so you can switch styles of, of gouges very quickly. Very sharp, very nice, easy to use on, uh, on small carvings, they're called really palm gouges because it's you use your palm to, or your hand to push it through rather than hitting at it with a mallet. Now, don't you find that it, it's irritating when it's going to keep changing the handles? Huh? Yeah, it is. It is. Um, I probably should buy an extra handle. Um, I primarily use um, one of these gouges and then what is called a V gouge. It's shaped like a V. Those are the two gouges I use most of the time. I have other gouges that all have handles on them, but I find this is convenient. It's very small, rolls up, you know, I can take it with me. I like your work, Pete. Yeah. Well, thank you. Very nice job.